Okay, not a whole lot of an update. I have actually been out of town, and whenever I am out of town, I tend to lock down all the turbines so that nobody has to deal with it whenever uh, I'm, I'm not here. Uh, and then we had uh, quite a few power outages along the way. Anytime that's happening, these inverters, these are what I use to load the turbines up. Whenever the power goes out, these things shut down. Uh, and the turbines go nuts, so I have to come out and put the brakes on. Uh, we spent a lot of time last night with our power out, so uh, and that was probably the <laughs> windiest time this last night during our little storm. Uh, over the last week, not much. I did kind of label these two. This one is always going to be the Healy. This one is always going to be the I-1500, the two big East of Breeze turbines that I've got. The other four, they get swapped around. The reason why I've never labeled them is because I always thought that I'd be kind of moving things around and adjusting stuff, but I, I'm going to keep these always the Healy and always the I-1500. The rest of them, will I'll, I'll move them around as I, I need. The Healy, last week we were sitting at 39 kilowatt hours, and this week we got 40. Like I said, it, we haven't had a whole lot of production days. It's, it's just not been, you know, <laughs> suitable. But whenever, <laughs> in this situation though, the, uh, the I-1500 was at 18 kilowatt hours. So it actually, you know, caught up to the Healy just a little bit. Just a little bit closer, but still sitting right around half production. And then the washing machine turbine made one kilowatt hour. I think it was it was 7,400 watt hours. We're at 8,500 watt hours, nearly 8,600 watt hours. Well, that one did pretty good. In the lower wind, before the the Healy can really start producing, the you know the other turbines do much better uh, in in comparison. Once the Healy starts going, there's no catching it. But anyway, uh, that's that. There is something else that I learned. These things have uh, a bit of a parasitic load on them. Because whenever I shut all my turbines off last night, these things, uh, my, my voltages were all pretty good. But now we're, you know, not. Like, uh, the bank that the Healy is on still says the bank voltage is... 50.56 volts. I'm going to have to go through this and see if they're all balanced because this reads off of just one half of the bank. This is 23.8. Well, that's concerning a little bit. Uh, the I-1500 and uh, the washer turbine, they both go to this 24 volt bank, which is what's on the bottom there. That's saying 19.7. So uh, I got to get these things some juice. Get a little power going to them. Anyway, that's that for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I do believe that next week I will be resetting everything and starting from scratch. I'm hoping by next week I will have the new rig for the Missouri Turbine going. And I'd like to see them all going from the beginning. Or all started at the same time. So that's something to look forward to. Kind of, I guess, if you look forward to that kind of thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.